Advantage Plus Creatives, should you use it or should you not use it? I will cover everything in Advantage Plus Creatives and all optimization types and the ones that you should definitely avoid and the ones that are going to help you get more conversions in your ad account. Let's jump in right into the ad account. But before this, let me introduce myself. I'm Jim. I've been running ads for 10 years and I've been working in digital marketing agencies over six years and I've been running ads for Fortune 500 companies. And let's get started. If you're ready, let's jump into the platform. All right, guys. Now, we are in the ad level so you create your campaign you do your targeting in the ad set level and then this is all about the ad level now we're in the ad level here this is the parts do you select your facebook page and then you know you select whatever you want to choose let's say manual upload in this case single image carousel collection but for now we're going to stick to manual upload and we're going to go ahead with single image so we can cover what type of optimizations we have i'm going to click on add media and add one media super quickly all right now we added the single image as you can see in the left hand section this is a story placement this is the in feed placement and this is the right column placement ideally guys i want to have a 1920 9 by 16 version of this creative so to do this i will go back to canva this is the original creative that i got from canva and i will copy and paste this bad boy all right now we have the story placement version of the same creative if you don't do this this is not going to look good guys we have to get 1920 version of these creatives so i'm going to download this and add this later in the ad level so for now this is good and i will add this here later on this is good to go now we click next now this is the part that we need to know optimizing your ad with advantage plus creative this is extremely important guys this a lot of people because they opt they suggest you to turn these on you just turn everything on and then let facebook optimize so we have original creative this is not an optimization we have music optimization relevant comments optimization image filter optimization image template optimization visual touch-ups text improvements expand image and these are the optimizations that we have you might not see all of these optimizations because in some ad accounts they don't show every single one of them but here the ones that we see are these ones guys we can see all optimizations right now the ones that you should definitely avoid guys I avoid image template all the time. The reason being is they take something from your headline and put at the top and usually the color scheme doesn't match how it looks. So if you click on this and I will show you how it looks, adjust fonts and colors. Of course, you can adjust the color that they're going to show at the top. But if I were to put a headline there, I would have done it back in Canva. I don't really need Facebook ads to give me those stuff, right? This is actually created to make your life easier in this case but we don't really need that in our case we have all the necessary stuff so you can select the style select your font whatever font that you use for your brand you have now the font changed and the background color for your brand color let's say is black you put black in the background color right so they adjust it depending on whatever you want so in this case i will go back and I don't want this. The reason being is I told you why I don't like it. And it puts the headline up there. If I were to put this, I would have done it already. So I don't need Facebook to do it. They say this optimization increases your likelihood of getting that conversion. But it is not proven. They usually say, all right, using this Advantage Plus Creative, use this because 87% of advertisers are using. This is a social pro psychology they are pushing. They're trying to make the, our lives easier, but we don't need this. So I'm going to turn this off. So this is the only first one that you need to avoid, guys. Image template. Visual touch-ups avoid that as well so we can once we come here we will see how those visual touch-ups will show up as you can see they put the primary text here i don't want my primary text over here let's go down you can see it is showing up here they adjust the aspect ratio and turn on the brightness or turn down the brightness again if i wanted to do this i would have done it back in canva or photoshop i turned this off as well guys text improvements could be done the reason being is they just change whatever is at the top they change, replace it headline with description description to headline and headline to main primary text 
The reason it can be done, it can be left on, is because we don't know how people are going to react to certain certain offers, right? Maybe your offer is in the headline, but it's not really visible. They take that offer, put it in the primary text. It could help, but if you are really particular in how you wrote your long long form copy description, primary description, you can turn this on. I personally turn this on, guys. Expand image. Guys, this is important. You should always turn this off. They will expand it and most likely I see a lot of ads. If you have text on your ads or a person on your ads in the single image, it will get destroyed. It will get... It, so Facebook algorithm in the Advantage Plus Creative section is not that smart right now. So if you leave everything to Facebook it, specifically for creatives, it will mess it up. For copy variations, yes, you can go with copy variations. But if you let them expand the image, I see all the texts are cut off in different advertisers' ads, right? I see ad advertising agencies doing that and their ads are cut off. Like they, they have a big sentence, big offer, they, the middle of the offer is cut off. You cannot see what they're doing. So always turn this off, guys. Now let's come up. We have music, relevant comments, and image filter. Guys, image filter is not that detrimental to your performance. They will just put a filter, let's say a person uh, really likes lo-fi filters, they really engages with those type of filters. They might put that filter on your ad, but I personally do not do it if I have a really well-designed creative in Canva or some other person or designer did it. Uh, I'm not going to touch this. I'm just going to turn this off. Relevant comments is good, guys. If you have a bunch of comments under one ad, it is going to show the top one, the top relevant one underneath and highlight that. It is really important because you are there really pushing this social proof to people. I always leave this on, always, always, always. It is extremely rare they push and highlight a bad comment about your business. It is quite unlikely, but most likely than not, they're going to push positive comments about that specific product or service. But if you're getting tons of comments every single day and some of them might be negative and you don't want to take the chance, you can turn this off. But I personally turn this on, guys. The reason being, as I said, I want to utilize the social proof aspect of it they're not gonna touch your creative they're not gonna mess with your creative what you have in the ad itself they're just gonna highlight the bottom one not on the image but in the comment section so you will get more people to say okay this is a legit business let's come to the music if you have a video this will automatically still be enabled so be careful guys don't keep this enabled if you have a video turn this off if you have a single image though you want to change or specifically choose your music for your brand they usually have those cookie cutter you know boring advertising music you don't want to have that one time for instance we had a client that is you know pushing really hardcore gym t-shirts and it was automatically selected a really like you know happy happy kind of music it was it didn't make sense at all so that the, the instagram doesn't really understand what your brand tone is so you have to definitely choose your own music if you want to let's say we are go back and i clicked on change music and i will put for instance metal if you put metal and I will tick this off. Metal, let's listen to this. So it's a pretty hardcore metal. And I tick this for that client, right? If we want to use a music for a single image, you can do that. So I'm going to go back. And then if you use video, turn this off. If you use music, you can turn this on. That's cool. I'm going to say done. Now, as you guys can see in the story and reels placement, we have an ugly looking ad so this doesn't match because we have a gradient background on the right hand side and you can see now it is time to change this so i'm going to click on edit group and i want to click on change now it looks way more professional and way more pleasing to the eye and if we can click save now you will be able to see all those placements doesn't look bad we have the gradient still showing up as you can see it is way more professional guys these are the optimizations in the advantage plus creative that you should avoid and you should use some of them uh, totally up to you guys see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe